All right, let's get it. Yo, what up, everybody? My name is Vince A. I'm here on the 34 Questions Podcast. You could check that out on Spotify, YouTube, anywhere they show podcasts, you know? Feel me? Uh, follow him on social media, at 34 Questions, you know? Uh, check out my episode. A lot of deep stuff. A lot of interesting stuff. A lot of stuff that could probably get you through your day-to-day. One. What's going on, folks? Welcome to 34 Questions. Today, I have a very special guest, a young artist. Vince A is on the show. How you doing, Vince? What's up? Doing great. Uh, busy day. Just got my first vaccination dose today, and it's crazy. So many people, you know? Yeah, yeah. I got uh <laughs> I got a question for you for that later. Um, but for those unfamiliar with the flow of the show, we do a few intro questions uh, just to set the tone. I got a little icebreaker. It's a one word spelling bee. Feel free to participate. Feel free to decline. It's up to you. Uh, and then we jump into the main portion of the interview where you choose numbers between 1 and 34. And we kind of flow with the conversation that way. Sound good to you? Yeah, sounds good. All right, man. Uh, well, my first question for you is, how have you been? For those who don't know, this is the first time we've ever linked up, first time connecting. So uh, yeah. tell me, man, how you been? Uh, well, you know, a lot of stuff has been on my uh, on my plate recently, and it's a little hard to finish. And uh, mental health wise, I saw a decline. Um, I got a lot of support from my family and friends. And just people who who support me through music, uh, a lot of artists supporting me, and so it's just been like uphill climb, but it's working. You know, I, I'm really thankful for all the people that I have around me. Uh, tough times like COVID, you know, it, it's even harder. So uh, I'm just glad to be around still. You know, no doubt, no doubt. Um, well, you're you're an artist, but tell the folks out there what kind of art you do. Uh, my main medium is music. I produce beats. I record vocals. Uh, I love collaborating. You know, uh, I like giving the people a chance to tell their story. And if I can do that by helping them make a song or whatever, you know, even if it's like them telling me a story and I'm writing a song about it, you know, that's a that's a type of uh, art that I do. I feel like everyone is going through maybe something really specific, right? And a lot of us feel like I'm the only one going through that. And if I can show you that you're not and that you're going to make it through, then that's what art is. <laughs> no, that's the beautiful thing about making music is uh, sometimes the words that you you write or you sing is what somebody else just couldn't express, you know? So there's yeah, like that deep yeah, connection exactly. between you and the fan. Um, what, what song is like? is that like for you? Like uh, that, that you just um, kind of just vibe with. Oof, um, that dang, that's a lot of them. Uh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess one right now would be um, "Everybody Hurts" by uh, REM. That one okay. is is a uh, stuff because like talk about like straightforward, like everybody hurts. You know, take comfort in your, in your friends. Like that was something that um, I guess it's, it's advice that I could tell people and people could tell me, but I wouldn't listen to it and I couldn't accept that, you know, like I'm one of those people myself who just can't like um, deal with my own problems or, or realize that, you know, everyone around you is there to help build you up because they're also going through something, you know, and it's like literally starts off when the day is long and the night is yours to come you think you've had enough uh or are you sure you've had enough uh, of this life just hang on and i was like and i've listened to that song since i was in like middle school and stuff like that but it was just really fun to sing everybody hurts you know stuff like that <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah now you know as a, as a young man going through the things a young man goes through um uh, and more on top of that, you know, listening to it back, finding that song again, it really just made me sit down and be like, wow, you know, a song that's 20 years old, you know, uh, saves me from the current times right now. You know, it's beautiful. And I want to do stuff like that too. Make timeless music. I feel it. Yeah. I feel it. <laughs> 
yeah uh i mean that song for me uh it would probably one of them is uh sideways by citizen cope you heard that one before i've not heard of that one before yeah i mean check it out later but it's it's, it's one sure. of those when you're going through it you kind of want to listen to it yeah it's a uh, it's more of that kind of mood but uh for yeah. sure for sure right, uh, that's dope yeah yeah no check it out i got I, I i didn't recognize everybody hers until you actually sang it and i'm like oh yeah yeah no yeah <laughs> that's <it. laughs> at this point like yeah uh, what you're going through at this stage yeah you just realize every everybody is hurting and um yeah that's why we should always try to like bring that positive vibe at least to, to other people um yeah. my second question for you is what would you like your descendants to know about you so if you were going to reach forward you know five generations down the road and you know mm-hmm. like you have a great 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 granddaughter great 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 grandson that is in the same shoes that you're in right now trying to figure out themselves their world uh what would you want them to know Mm. i would want them to know that i did absolutely everything i could to get the things that i wanted to get done done the way that i wanted to do them um you know without the uh, influence or pressure of, you know, maybe society or family, especially family's a, a big one, um, you know, and you just stuck it out. Uh, no matter what, no matter how many times people told you, no, that's not going to work. Uh, no matter how many times people said, no, nah, you shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. Um, and I want them to know that I lived my life according to my rules and I did things of my own accord you know uh, like that song uh, My Way by Frank Sinatra mm. um, how's that one go know, again? Uh, uh, and now the end is near oh yeah and so I yeah. face the final curtain you know like, yeah. There, yeah there are times where you know it didn't look like it didn't seem like I was gonna make it through um, but I stood tall and I did all that and I did it my way, <laughs> you know, no that's doubt. what I want them to know. For sure. That's a, for sure. that's a crazy question, man. It's a crazy question. Thanks for asking it. No problem, man. Um, I don't, I don't know if you read too much of my, of the book that I sent you before to si- sign it on, but yeah. <laughs> it, it's definitely, um, that's basically the, the unifying theme of the podcast. You know, I just want us to be able to like leave that impression for for people that will probably never see in person um yeah so yeah i appreciate you opening up and sharing of course just want to be as transparent as i can you know talk about whatever's real appreciate it appreciate it well this this uh, other third this next question the third one uh throws people in a doozy as well but it's uh how would you like to be honored if i was going to do tell myself today i'm going to honor vince Vince A, what kind of act or what could I do to, to do that? Um, yeah, you know, just to wake up, start the day. The hardest part about doing any task is starting it. You know, finding that courage because that's something I struggle with, you know, all the time is, uh, damn I'm awake shoot is it do I have to wake up right now or I wish I didn't wake up this morning you know and each of those um, statements is like heavier than the last one but that's the best way you can honor me I think is um, you know waking up and being I'm a, you know, like I'm gonna do this you know I'm gonna start my day for the people who want to see me start my day you know for the people who love me i got to wake up for them no doubt no doubt right on um yeah i know that everyone takes that question a little bit differently but uh again appreciate you opening up i'm just gonna say thank you uh ahead of time because i feel like you're gonna keep keep doing that to me just making me go oh, shit i didn't know he was gonna talk about that <laughs> but uh no no right on right on uh sure. The last question for the intro is, how well do you know yourself? And if it's hard to put into words, you could just do a scale from one to 10. Uh, 
uh, shoot, probably like like a five, you know, because there's things that I definitely uh, know about myself that, you know, like that's me. I'm not going to change that part about me ever. And there's also like the other half of me that's always learning um, because there's always opportunities to grow. And it could be even, you know, things I thought I knew about myself and something proved me wrong, you know, whether it's in a good way, you know, I didn't think I could do this, pull through, or if I was overconfident, you know, because you always got to have confidence and sometimes, sometimes things don't work out and that kind of, kind of humbles you a little bit, puts you in your place and, and you're just like, all right, I, th I guess I grew there. So I guess five, you know kind of okay. myself yeah <laughs> uh yeah man i mean i uh, i totally relate with you i i consider myself a five as well one thing I, I repeat on the show with this question is basically, you know, in my highest highs, I feel like I know myself the most and my lowest of lows. That's when I'm like, who the hell am I? Um, mm. So and that that changes throughout your life, depending on the stage you're in or what happens. But I think a uh, constant five for me, that's where I'm at as well. Uh, for sure. All right, man. So we made it to the icebreaker portion. It's the one word spelling bee. Would you like to participate or are you cool? Let's get it. <laughs> All right. I've been in school for a little bit, so let's see. Let's see how well I've retained knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had to switch up the word. So I've been using the same word for a long time. And then my pops was uh -huh. like, yo, man, like, it, that's cool, but you should use some medical terms. So you're getting one of the first medical oh, terms I'm using. <laughs> All yeah, it's right, gonna right, be. Right. It's not too hard. You've heard it before. You've seen it before. Um, <laughs> but it's, spelling is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, your word is epilepsy. Epilepsy. Ah, E P I L E epilepsy. Yo, you got it. You. <laughs> You got it right, bro. <laughs> All right, let's get this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get it. That's what's the first Once try, too, man. First try. Nice. <laughs> uh, well, congratulations. You've uh, you've um, qualified for the 34 question spelling bee episode uh, down the line um. with, the, with my other guests who have also gotten their word right. So, Woo. yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get it. I'm excited. <laughs> No doubt. No, I appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you for participating. And I need to change that word then. I guess it's too easy. I don't know. Maybe I'll roll with it for Maybe. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> too easy for you, man. <laughs> um, all right, boss. We made it to the, the main portion of the interview. Go ahead and shoot Let's me see. a number between 1 and 34. Um, let go with 21. 21. Um, what is something in your life that you've taken control of? Mm. Uh, wow, that's a good one. Uh, probably my 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 career choice. You know, like what I want to aspire to be. I feel like for a really long time uh, before I was dead set on. You know, I want music to be my whole life. Because there's a lot of things I can't control. And, you know, what I want to do is one of the few, th few things that I actually can. Um, it was always, you know, what do what, what's going to make my mom and dad happy? Uh, what's going to be the easiest for me to just, you know, live? Uh, and also, if I stray away from that... Um, you know, am I going to end up homeless? You know, because I mean, I've seen it happen, right? Um, and I, I was just so, you know, so scared. Like, is what I want to do too risky? Um, and there was a time where I was attending college at San Francisco State. Um, you know, it wasn't even for music. Right? I was a film major. Because I felt like at least that would would have been something maybe a little more. It was something that would have had a little more stability. Hmm. Um, and I, 
And I remember being there for like the first year and I just hated everything, you know? I mean, you know, the work was fine. You know, doing doing the school work, it was just meaningless, you feel me? Um, I wasn't getting anything out of it that made me feel like I was even going to make it that far, you know? Or if I did, like, you know, where do I see myself in 10 years? Will I be happy with where I am? Definitely not when I was there. You know, and so I left, I left there and I felt like that first step of just like, you know, talking to my parents, um, hey, I don't think this is the place for me to be. That was like a first step in really controlling maybe my whole life, you know? Uh, and through them, it was kind of crazy because I didn't know they would be so supportive. So I thank God for them. And then, mm. you know, acting school, uh, I went there after I, after I dropped out. And I felt like, you know, I was losing control again. And I, and I thought I was going insane because I was like, no way, I already, I already left school to pursue this, you know? And it was, everything felt out of reach. And for a while I was like, what, what am I gonna do? You know? Um, and then I just picked up my guitar again. And I'd always been writing songs since like high school um, or singing them since high school, writing them in like middle school. And I was like, what if I do this? You know, because it seems like when all, when all else fails and the world was crumbling down and things were further and further away out of my grasp, uh, music just kind of, you know, would save me. You know, I started writing songs again and I felt like I had control over, you know, my mind again. And that was like, the ultimate breakthrough for me because I suddenly started to see all the opportunities and the paths I could take and also the happiness that that was coming my way and I was like confident enough uh, with how I felt inside to just roll with it and I feel like I've taken control of a lot of other aspects of my life through music, you know, um, how I present myself, um, you know, the the circle I keep around me, you know, because energy is important. And I gotta control that too, and it's been really easy um, being my own person, focusing on music. That's dope, man. That's a it's a beautiful thing to see people like find that lane for themselves where it feels like you know it matches who they are right um yeah and for you like you said that you had been writing songs and playing the guitar a lot earlier uh what, what was that difference between you know taking it seriously back then to you know finally it, you came back to it oh so back then it was kind of like was a trend right everyone had like a ukulele um <laughs> and i picked one up because of that you know uh like i was in hawaii for a vacation with my family and it was like a really special vacation because we were going somewhere real far away <laughs> i was like oh oh you know everyone at, at school has one of these and you know i feel like i could pick one up because i was playing saxophone in band and i was like this is cool but I can't take it out to the quad and be cool, you know? Yeah. So I got that. <laughs> uh, I got that. Um, and it was a lot of, you know, just learning. And it was for fun. And I got good at that. And I thought I was going to be a serious ukulele player because I was getting gigs, um, you know, out of middle school. Oh, and shit. Yeah. yeah yeah so it was it was pretty crazy and then i but i didn't sing so that's the thing because uh, i was writing song like instrumental you know and maybe lyrics but just to sing in my head not out loud because that sounded terrible back then <laughs> and <laughs> you know uh, <laughs> and then i guess it just at some point in my head was like you're gonna be a professional ukulele player. 
I don't know about that, you know. So yeah. uh, I was like starting to starting to be like, okay, maybe if I want to take this seriously, I'll learn how to sing as well. And so I tried, and you know, to the best I could, it was there. Um, and then in high school, I got to a point where I was like, okay, I'm gonna perform my first original song at the at the VSA show. Um, in the theater in front of all all the classes you know it was like i'm I'm gonna do it during the day show so everyone will see me and then we'll really see if this is going to be something and it went amazing beyond my expectations you know i was like this is something that was something that made me believe that this was going to be a forever thing um and what stopped me from doing that was the whole society thing Mm. um and also um, I have an uncle who's who's kind of tried to do that too, but for all the wrong reasons. And you know, he was trying to take control over my music career at some point. And I was like, I'm not going to let you live your dreams through me because you and I have different ideas and different intentions. And you know. But how could I say that straight up to my uncle? You know, I mean, how could I? I can't even do that now. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's tough. Um, but it kind of was really off putting for me because I was like, is this going to be all the time? And he's calm, you know, I don't get that now because, you know, I feel like I've made my stance clear without having to say it straight up. Um, but it was just something that was just hard, you know? Cause I was like, I know I'm that easily, con- it's that easy to contact me, you know, through Facebook message or whatever, cause he's family. Um, or when I see him at, at, uh, at gatherings, you know, it's gonna be those questions. And that was enough for me at the time to just be like, ugh, maybe this isn't the thing for me, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. 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 For sure and uh and so when you picked it back up but what, what kind of like sparked that again it sounded like you you were done with acting i gotta ask you about that too but um uh, yeah. yeah what what brought what sparked that for you to make like okay the second round here here we go kind of feeling oh so we were doing me and my homie were writing songs and we were going around milpitas and you know fremont whatever or wherever it was close, they had open mics. And at the open mics, you know, it was a great, great testing spot. Just be like, here's a song that we wrote. Hope you guys like it, you know? And if they clap, they record us, then okay, they liked it. Or they come talk to us after the show. Then we know it's okay. And, and that was really fun for us because, you know, what else were we doing other than working? Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, and then, and then, um, and then one day uh, we did an open mic and our homegirl who was also there she was like hey some people from the studio are here and i was like oh word you know i was like big studio small studio there she was like small studio but they're from a studio and i was like yeah, tight yeah. Yeah. Let me show up um and it was at one of the spots that we were used to performing at so we're like oh this is good you know the people are gonna come back you know they're gonna know that we're gonna perform and and maybe it'll convince the people at the studio a little bit more you know to just maybe say hey um and so we did the songs and a guy spam masubi sat down <laughs> and then someone approached us uh, i think her name is rena and she she was like hey have you ever recorded those songs and i was like yeah my bed <laughs> like with like a, with my phone microphone and that whatever software audacity <laughs> yeah. the usb mic yeah you know and then she was like oh well i'm in like in a studio and i was like oh oh this is this is them <laughs> she was like she was like yeah in, in a studio i was like no never you know absolutely not because <laughs> I don't have the money to do that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and she was like, well, why don't you come down to our studio Wednesday? We're having an open house. Open house 
uh, with invites, you know, and, and um, we'll see about getting you recorded. And then we were like sick, you know. So how many other people are, are going to be there? They're like, oh, we have like eight, nine artists, you know, in total. So you all meet each other there. Um, at some point, you know, we're splitting it up into two days and half the artists are going to talk and then the other half will talk later. And so we get there on the Wednesday and you can tell like who's serious and who's not, you mm -hmm. know, just by uh, like when they talk about what their, what, what their intentions are here, what, what they want, because the whole project, I guess they're recruiting for like a collaboration CD for the place that w was hosting the open mic which is kind of weird <laughs> you know um and then That's as weeks went on yeah. it is it is right never seen that before and as the weeks went on more and more artists were dropping off the project because of time restraints or recording problems it was just too hard to record their songs conceptualize whatever and we ended up being like the last artist like one of two wow who are, who are left yeah because we we're i was just like ain't no way i'm letting this opportunity slip from my fingers you feel me and yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh we already had like five songs that were just like you know cool acoustic demos that we could just turn into beats and you know sing and record them and it's like yo we, we got this you know and then uh, eventually that project you know uh fell through because oh um, no yeah. it was only me my homie and a couple other homies and then another artist and so when that happened i was like oh guys i think we're on to something right here and um we did our first they're like okay since you guys are the only artists left we're going to record the we're going to record two of your songs two songs you have and then we're going to throw you up on a show in downtown San Jose and see how that goes. And I was like, all right. Um, and so we did that and it went amazing. It went amazing, you know, because <laughs> it was like our first real gig, you know, uh, yeah. at a high school, not an open mic and something like that. And we celebrated. And then, you know, we, we were like, yo, I think we need to be bold. For, for a quick second and ask them if we can record like an EP, you know, in their studio, how much they charge us, whatever. So we set up a meeting at a fun place, <laughs> at Fuss Saigon, New Fuss Saigon, which is right underneath the studio. Oh, uh, so shit. Okay. Yeah, it was tight. Um, and we're like, yo, we got these songs. We got the demos of the beats, all of them. All the lyrics, we just need a place to record, mix and master, what can you do for us? And then um, and then they hit us with, you know, we'll do it. We'll do just that. You don't have to pay us anything because we like you guys so much, but we also want you to work on the stuff that we got. And so I was like, all right. This is tight. Wow. You know? Yeah. Wow. And that was yeah. that was our like all right, this is serious. <laughs> that was this serious. serious right now. Yeah. This is serious. It is, man. Yeah. That's what's up. So, that's that's a great story. Is there any more? Go go ahead. If you... Thanks. Um well, I mean, we we're there for like maybe a uh, a year and a half. And mm -hmm. then if and then it started to seem like they were kind of working us for free too much and our projects aren't getting done and oh, so yeah and so we're like i guess it gets more serious than that because we were like all right i don't think we can be here right we had we don't really have creative control they're not teaching us anything and so me and three other homies who eventually became the lychee boys <laughs> um, yeah right, uh, we, right. we, we were just like <laughs> How about well, we've been using the equipment for like a year? We know exactly what to get, exactly what we need, the software we're used to. Why don't we just get that and set it up in your house? And I was like, word, let's do it. And so we we're just like, hey, we're leaving. Can't have none of this no more. It's starting to feel like we're doing everything for you. And you're not, you're never like physically even, you're never there. 
for us. So mm. we're just figuring all that out and we're going to dip. So we just got all the same equipment <laughs> and yeah. yeah, and we started, you know, from, from the bottom, you know, we didn't know anything. We're just like, all right, YouTube, here we come. Let's learn as much <laughs> as we can. Read, read, read books, articles on, on sound and, and write better songs and we'll see how it goes. And from that point on, everything that we wanted to like shows that we wanted to try getting you know we put them out we threw it out there into the universe and then uh those shows and opportunities started reaching out to us and then that's where i am now <laughs> that's what's up man that's what's up yeah, yeah that, that was a crazy story um <laughs> I, 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 I had pursued a, a music career too earlier in my life and I never had oh, yeah. anything that close to, to you know, actually talk to people managing a studio and whatnot, but for sure. For sure, man. Uh, mm. I definitely seen, you know, how I found you was through that, uh, the Bee Gees cover that you, you posted like maybe a week oh, ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, dude. And I was like, I'm oh, man, like I mean, <laughs> that was all you guys? That's you and your crew, you know, setting that up? It was dope. Yeah. Look legit, that was me. Yeah. I just got the boys back together, the Leisha boys back together for, for a new thing, but I can't say too much on that. Yeah, you know, um, keep it under wraps, man. Anticipation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was the other thing too. You know, I wanted to do, um, just fun stuff and covers like that. Like that's fun stuff. That's one of my favorite songs of all time. How deep is your love? And, and I was like, you know, maybe it's time, <laughs> time to just cover uh -huh. it. And now I have the freedom to. The freedom to create the music I want and have it sound exactly as it does in my head coming back to me through the speakers, like that's something I worked so hard <laughs> to just achieve, you mm -hmm. know, because before it was all like, oh, it's not good enough. How does it sound better? But this is the best I got. You know, now it's like a little, little this and a little that. And I'm like really happy with it. You know, it's, it's, it's great. I love music. <laughs> No doubt. And uh, how do you feel about that, about doing covers? Did you know how some artists, they blow up because of a cover versus like their own original yeah. work? So it's yeah. like you can you can get that that viral thing from a cover. But then how many people are going to be clicking on your regular album? You know, how yeah, do you, so how do you exactly. feel about that? Yeah. Uh, well, so I feel like to, you know, to each his own, but I feel like the intention of your music i mean some people would just get good and just blow up because they sound really good you know and it'll be a cover of something and that's enough to have them keep doing covers and you know build a successful career off of that you know maybe release an original song when it's the right time for them um and i think that's okay you know i i like writing my own music and hearing that back more than i do just trying to cover a lot of songs mm -hmm. uh, and i also don't do that for the sake of content you know it's kind of <laughs> weird it's, it's kind of weird calling your art content you know because it's it's very personal you know just to say content is like an instagram post you know of like a selfie that's also content you know yeah, so it's yeah. uh, i feel like the people who do covers for content you know i mean i wish them luck you know but it, if they're amazing that's great and if they're not and they're trying to use that as a way to build up for original music my whole thing is focus on the, your original music first you know if that's really what you want practice that you know yeah. you can do covers all the time you know for yourself just to just to practice you know your like your skill your craft and stuff like that too like that's another thing um i'll recreate beats for covers so i can practice my producing skills and i'll hear like yeah. oh how did they do that and then i'll try to recreate that and then i'll learn something new and i'll be able to use that in an original song you know you ever uh i haven't heard any of your beats but have you ever like produced a beat and laid some vocal melody thing because i think rappers go crazy for that if that's already part of the beat they'll be like oh i'm hopping on this because i don't gotta even think about <laughs> you know but yeah have, have you done that yet? Uh, i haven't done that and honestly i've been i've been thinking about 
trying to you know trying to take that on because i love beats where like just like there's like just singing harmony and that's like some of the main instrument you know like there's no guitar no piano no nothing it's just like ooh, ooh, ooh. i'm yeah, just like man. dang how how they get that to sound so good you know you gotta make that I really want to uh, try that that new Just Friends by Music Soul Shop. The boom, 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 yeah, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It it transcends lyrics. It transcends the song. You know, even like la la la's. You know, la la la's in a song. <laughs> Those transcend. It's like it just works. The vibe. Dude, you uh, you know Bobby McFerrin? I know Bobby McFerrin. You seen his TED talk? About, I like, haven't seen his TED talk. So I mean, in a in a nutshell, he's in this like you know he's giving a presentation, and then he gives each section of the crowd like a different note. Like you do this boom, and then you go boom, oh. and then and then he just points at the crowd, and then they start making this melody, and he's just like, yeah. <laughs> you seen that one? Yeah. Um, I think so. I might have seen that one actually. I mean, what stuck to me was that he just said, like, yo, no matter where I am in the world, th this is what I do. I point and I tell them to make this noise. Everybody gets it. You know, it's, it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, Everybody yo, man, you're it. right. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like an inner, you know, inside of you, you know, music, you know, rhythm. And mm -hmm. it's easy to understand, um, you know, if, if it's if it's out there and you can actually hear it. You know, that's that's the beautiful thing because it really just connects everybody like that on the most basic level, you know, the yeah, human side. Um, yo, just to let you know, we only have about 10, 15 minutes left in the podcast, but been having a sure. great, great time. Hopefully you're having fun too, man. Yeah, dude. I love it. Conversation, A1. You know, with your it, questions, man. dope. You, dope. <laughs> right on, man. Same, same, man. I feel like we vibing, so definitely appreciate your energy. Um, go ahead and throw me another number. Uh, let's do four. Four. Uh, what keeps you grounded? Ooh, whoa. What keeps me grounded? That, yeah. That's insane. I feel like I'm always off my rocker. You know, <laughs> um, I guess... Uh, knowing that I can still make music and, you know, like no matter what, like if I'm, if I have nothing around me, at least I can sing, mm. you know, sing to myself. And just that thought, you know, like if everything comes crashing down, it's like, at least I still have that with me because, you know, I, I can't say you know, family, friends, because like I know they're always there, but they can't always be around for me. And so there has to, you know, because I can't have them, you know, on the leash or something, you know, and support I get, you know, I can reach out, but like I need to be able to ground myself, you know, so I'll just like close my eyes, you know, take a few deep breaths and literally I'll just start singing a song. <laughs> You know, if it's a sad one, then that's just gonna be what it is. Even if I'm too excited, you know, if I'm too excited, don't know what to do, I'll just jam out by myself, you know. You gotta to express music. yourself. Yeah, you gotta express yourself. Exactly. Uh, no doubt. I uh, wanna get one more number in. Uh, go ahead and throw that one out. <laughs> uh, let's do 18. 18 what is something that you used to fear but you don't fear anymore Ooh, something i used to fear but i don't fear anymore how people see me mm. you know um i remember i was always afraid to just you know, be seen because I always thought I was ugly. You know, mm. um, everyone else was cool. I, I I used to get bullied a lot. You know, for for my height, how I looked, how long my hair was, the clothes I wore, because you know, 
couldn't afford new clothes <laughs> the shoes i wore um you know uh eczema dealing with that i was just i hated myself you know I, I was like i wish i could just change the way i looked all the time i was so self-conscious um and it was tough because that was something i was afraid of even after I dropped out of college you know um, yeah. like the image of myself and just how much i was just made fun of something I couldn't change you know i couldn't change how i look I couldn't change what i had the clothes i had on my back or my height you know or my eczema i couldn't do that um and something that really helped me was you know like the medication that i'm on right now it took a long time to get it because it wasn't like fda approved at the time and it was just fda approved in 2018. Mm. you know like yeah you know, yeah dog it got so bad i couldn't get out of bed i couldn't wear socks so i was definitely oh, afraid you know i was definitely afraid to just go out you know because the eyes are so penetrating <laughs> you know everyone's eyes you know i can't I couldn't deal with it but now yeah. you know i i love who i am as a person and i think that that directly influences how i feel about you know my image and the medication you know it's like i felt like that was a blessing because i got really lucky with it um it could have never been made you know i could have never qualified for it or i could have given yeah. up because yeah. it, it was just a long time long process um but now you know i don't have to spend like hours in the mirror like fixing myself you know um i'm confident in who i am and how i come across um and i'm really happy you know i'm able to smile you know for pictures i can take <laughs> pictures you know um mm. and then music i put a lot of myself into my songs and listening back to them you know the image i get is you know ha happy me you know even if i'm going through it i'm like proud of myself and i can look and i can look at myself in the mirror and be like all right we <laughs> You know, yeah. who's who's this fly guy in the mirror? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Self love yeah. is the best love. No doubt. No, that's the first love you need to have too. Um, you're right. You're right. What's it called? All right, man. I, I I'm trying to give you enough time to do some of the closeout stuff. Uh, so let me yeah, get you on. to do. Uh, where can people find your music? Let, let the people out there know where they can find you. Uh, so you can find me anywhere that plays music that's spotify apple music amazon youtube soundcloud uh title deezer i'm on there you know uh search up vince a uh, i got a couple of songs out there right now uh, i got the world is on fire hold you close and i'm dropping the next one sometime in may for sure stay posted uh and stay any posted. links is probably going to be in the description below and notes uh so you don't feel free to like I, you've been giving me straight up great quality answers uh just for the sake of time uh maybe you could just like put it in a nutshell for these last couple ones um but this question is if you could spend 24 hours away uh, in isolation, right? No technology off the grid. Um, who would you bring with you? Whoa. <laughs> yes. And, you know, I told the person who asked this question, because this is a question from my previous guest. And I'm trying to have, Whoa. like, guess, ask guess the next question. And I told him, man, sure. you're going to put somebody on the spot. Like, <laughs> someone's going to come <laughs> on and be like, oh, fuck, man, just one person. Yeah. yeah. So if That's you don't me, feel comfortable, man. it's all good. It's all good. You could just be like, too many people. There's too many people. Uh, uh, I would bring... Oh shoot, they're my homies, but they're twins. It's kind of hard not to bring the other one. That no, is, like, they're, they're, that's a bad situation. Bro. 
that's a yeah, bad situation. Yeah. <laughs> so it's even worse, man. So yeah, either just say one this of wins. Them. Yeah, just say this yeah, wins. Yeah, we we got twins, you, man. Yeah, my managers at Factory T Bar. One of y'all. <laughs> I can fight for it. <laughs> Yo, man, a big one vacay day, twenty four hours. It might it might be yeah. nice, you know. Shoot. Mm. Uh, all right, and my next question is, what would you like to ask the next guest that comes on? Um. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Like serious question. Hey, I mean, it's up to you. You want to be silly? You want to be serious? I mean, this is, people are coming on 34 questions kind of already knowing it's not going to be like right. uh, too easy of a question. So yeah. make it hard. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, uh, ooh, this is tough. I thought I had one. I thought I had one. You can shoot it to um, me afterwards too, if you're like pressured for time and um, yeah, so don't worry. I feel like I got it. I feel like I got it. I, I want to. <laughs> I want to get this. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. Someone told you that you could have everything you ever dreamed of but it came at the price of losing the one thing that you're best at so like if someone told me I could have everything I want but I couldn't sing anymore <laughs> yeah that's a good one man yeah, yeah or you know whoever you know, ask Tom, ask Tom Brady that question and be like, but you can't play football no more, you know, <laughs> or you suck at it. You suck. <laughs> yeah. Would but you, you could it? have everything you could, you, you dreamed of, huh? That's exactly. that's an interesting one, man. Cause the way I would relate yeah. that to myself is like, what if I lost my voice? I wouldn't be able to, to talk to people like this. I'm not going to Exactly. Wait, but exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That oh, that's interesting <laughs> um and yeah man i know you only got like a couple minutes left so my last thing for you is what's the greatest lesson you've learned in life as i said that i was like oh this one's like you gotta think about it <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah um it's okay i can take the time to answer this one the greatest lesson i've learned in life well so far is um you are worth more than anything you're going through mm. so there's no like nothing that's thrown at you is something you can't handle because i know there's always times like i'd be straight up trying to give up you know or i can't see my way out of this just doesn't seem like it's gonna end but it does and it always does you know and there's always someone else there to help you through that you know i thought i had to do it all alone <laughs> you know that was me wasn't going to accept the help but it's the only way that it's gonna get done you know so don't stress because you suffer twice. That's the lesson. <laughs> for sure, man. Appreciate it. Uh, well, want to thank you again, Vince, for coming on. Uh, I think we had a great conversation. I thoroughly enjoyed yeah. it. Uh, and Me too. Yeah. Uh, thank you to all the folks out there checking it out. If you would like to be a guest, feel free to check out the links also down in the description. Um, I've been trying to figure out my signature to like, you know, to end it all and I still haven't figured it out but <laughs> yeah still working on it